everyone. Welcome back to the and the Dynamo. I have my guest here. That's one is very special to me. The person that knows me the most, and it's my best daughter. Would you like to introduce? Hello, I'm Julie, and I'm uh, Cheryl's older sister. Um, Julie is hearing. Yes, I am hearing. I'm the only one there in my family, so we're going to be talking about more our life growing up, our childhood, and how um, how we both coped. Yeah, and how we um, work as a family. So let's talk about our childhood. We had lots of great memories, didn't we? Yeah, we did, yeah. What do your memory, can you remember? Of me being there. The very first memory was when my mum came for home from the hospital, and I remember she was upset. So I didn't really know why she was upset, but I knew it was to do with like your deafness. And then uh, I think it was like years on, I found out that. Uh, when she was at the hospital appointment, one of the speech therapists said that you would never talk, ever. So I think that really upset my mum. Well, she doesn't need to be upset. I'm on podcast talking. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which is completely the opposite. Yes. So, I just had a previous podcast and we were talking about don't really trust the perpetual. I think mum followed her heart, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, she did. Like, I think uh, whenever she had that, obviously you'd be upset. But then after that, she kind of went into herself and then she trusted, she trusted her heart and she just worked on on your speech, your development, and it's it worked. Yep, exactly. And also, for me, like, through... Like working in the health profession, as you said, like a like speech therapist should should never say never. They should say, "Oh, there's like chances, and it could be quite difficult." Or if you do this or this, then try, try and like push the like, like, like the child development. I think it's opposite. You know, I think that speech therapy are quite encouraging. I think it would move back. Yeah, I, yeah, I think so. Actually. I think yeah. it wasn't uh, as much information as it was that time. I don't know. Yeah, because I, I think there's like more research as well. Yeah, and um, yeah, that too. And obviously, it family did I think just well because obviously I'm the only person deaf from my family. Yeah, and you don't want me to be good. And I think, like, as you said, like, you're the only deaf person in the family, so my mum or dad d- didn't have any experience, any information, so they, they had to do their own research. Yeah, well, that must be tough for them. And I don't think sh- uh, they knew anyone who was deaf either. No, that must be hard. So I can't imagine being in the position because obviously I'm deaf myself and I've got a deaf son and I felt upset too. Not because he was deaf, it was because it brought back the barriers and struggles I went through and I'm thinking about his future. But we can see how much he'd come along. Yeah. Um, I think I was, I was the same. Like obviously you would want any child to have like, like, Hearing, and they want you want them to be like fat, healthy, and, and well. But being like if, when Ethan's deaf, I don't think that's made him any more of a bad, like not a bad person. Oh, I don't know what the word is. It's, it's, it's not. It's not detracted anything from him. I think it's added something towards him. Like like uh, he's he's confident he's got like a nice personality character 
I need coping being there really well. Yeah. Really well. Yeah. He didn't get on my back. He's I need to do what everybody's doing. I can be many dead on him. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Probably yeah. learn from me. Follow me. Yeah. And I'm a role model. Yeah, I think he copies copies you. And he, he draws your confidence, I think. Yeah. And that's why... I want to do, do that to help other children because it must be hard for them being in a family when you don't see anybody who's there where people see me being there they're like, oh, you think mum's there? They can see how I sort of, like, hoping I show them too that they can do anything. Yeah. It's very weird to see deaf adult because that's them, my kind to me too so. Yeah, it's very different. But um, so yeah, and our childhood. When did you feel when we all started to move on and that uh, past the up the middle time? When did you think we started to like right at the, when I was at Notre? Primary school, I think. Primary school, oh, quite a while. Yeah, because I had been therapy and a lot. I started not to require any. I thought when I was three. Yeah, yeah, that's but it. At that time, everybody started at four, but I started at three. And I think that that helped with your development as well. I think so too, and it's speaking. Yeah. But it's a great nursery. And then primary school, yeah. I was tough, wasn't it? We, we went at the same primary school. No, I, th- I think it was tough because if you went, if, like, if I went to or you went to like, I think it might have been a wee bit easier because uh, you we would have each other's like, support. Because I, I remember like in one incident when uh, we, like you, we went to our next door neighbours. I don't think I've told you this. I, 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 oh, yeah, I, I don't. I don't think I have. But. Uh, we were playing with our friends, and then a little—I think it was a little boy—came, and then like, we were playing, and then afterwards, he said that you didn't talk properly, and he didn't, and I, and I can't remember what he said. I think it was something, something very rude, and then uh, I was really upset by that. I mean, I was just totally my protective protector. <laughs> I know, and then I actually had to say, actually say to the boy. My sister's deaf. It's not her fault. And then, uh, so like I, I, I stuck up, like I stuck up for you. And then ever since then, I, f- I feel as though I have, like I try, like I'm not like, I, like I'm protective over you. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for protecting me. I think now. I- I'm protecting you. Yeah. <laughs> the other way around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, it's, it's a different but dynamic. You protect me over the decade, but other things, I think I'm more, um, what do I mean? Confident. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, see, I'm, I'm there. I've got a lot of confidence. New hearing. You've got confidence. But, but not as people much. People would think I would have a Yeah, yeah. People would think I'm ready. But uh, I like to be the team at everybody else. I don't like to exclude myself out. I'm determined to be the team at everybody you, else. You are the same. It's just... You, you, just I can't hear. That's it. Just I can't hear. And I, th- I think everyone should know, sh- sh- like, sh- should learn more and should know that. Like, yes. like, uh, like if you're deaf, blind, if you have any sort of ability, d- disability, then... That doesn't mean that you're not normal. Yeah. I just saw um, Rose from the Convent. Yeah. She said that quote, and I think it's so true. What was the quote? She doesn't have a problem being there, but I feel the same. But it's the totality that makes it difficult. And other people? Mm-hmm. It's people and make that harder for us. So that is so true, because we did get on with it, but we needed a barrier or 
people are not aware. But it's not their fault. But, like for example, we went to a free interview and they went very depressed. Then that was bad because it's not being we want a job. And uh, the girl, we both are so different that way. When you went for interview, for interview fine. When it comes to me, we always worry about me. Yeah, like, like added worries. Because I only had one interview my whole... Yeah. But I left calling one interview and then I worked it for 13 years. And you, you smashed that interview? Yeah, <laughs> the other day. But it would talk up for me that I talk about to. Yeah, yeah, I did, yeah, I did I actually. I to tell me I think, Dean, oh, he did a graphic design job coming up the counter. I thought I was like, I didn't know what to do, but then I thought I'll apply. So I applied for it. And then I can't even remember, but the memory I have is going through the interview. I could think to my student came out, and then I was dropping, I think, and I got a text. I, 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 th- I think so. And then like, you created a lasting impression. Yep. And I got a job and I went down. Don't get Thank you for finding that job for me. No problem. <laughs> um, so, how did you learn that I was there? How did you, like, when did mum tell you that I was there? Because there's three years difference between us. So if I was born, it would have been three. Mm, yeah. How... I'm just thinking, you wouldn't know I would take it through, would you? No, I, I can't, I actually, to be honest, I can't remember th- that. The way we the first memory and the thing, when things are different, we're not different. Um, oh, I don't know. When did you, when did you realise that you had a different time? Did mum explain to you? Oh, Daryl can hear, or oh, just a start of like borrowed mum and that. I can't remember to be honest. No, Actually, no. but I can remember. I can't rem- like when I was four or five, mm. maybe, that you had uh, problems with your speech, and like you had to go to speech therapy. And do you not have a memory of that going to hospital down in London? Alright, yeah, they had to go that, to, yeah. Or at that time going to London, that was the appointment for London. That I, was I know, me. yeah. I know, my mum, she did a hotel because dad was working. Yeah. She would take both of us on to the London, train yeah. down to London. Wow, amazing. I don't know if I can do that with my kids down to London. <laughs> I'll <laughs> imagine just, that. I'll be just out by the time I get to Newcastle. And, and I, th- I think I think that was one of the first times as well uh, when, when Mum said, oh, we have to go down to London because you had an audio, like, audiology appointment. And that's what I did on my teeth. Yeah. yeah. Well, and then we, we, we were lucky to have a family member living down there. We went to see them. We, yeah, we stayed with them. Yeah, we stayed with them, so that was lucky. But I was a lot for mum, but then at some point, I can't remember when, but we got moved to Dundee. That was so much better. And then we made it like a family trip. Yeah, that was the, that was the best memory of our childhood. We went booked in a hotel and they had a swimming pool. We went shopping, we went to the Andrews. Yeah. Oh, was that Dee Barrow? And then we went to the, the Deer Sanctuary as well. Oh, I remember that. We, we um, what do you call them? We'd be... Yeah, the food pellets. Yeah, they have a really good memory. So mum always made, not the negative, um, like for me, it's very long to do testing. I would have to do hearing test, I would have to do speech, I would have to do speech therapy. Uh, Just so many things, that could be quite interesting. So my my mum and dad did always cheat or something afterwards. So it's really, really good fun. And then I think she made, like, as you said, like a, a challenging experience into a, a positive one that makes us think f- like happy memories. And I think that stuff helped who I am today. So I always focus on the positive. Yeah. If I have an appointment, I aim to just 
Tüüd on äta kui tüüd keere põhine ma. Aga tama põhine tegeeste mängu, et me näin, kui tüüpa aadat juhtunde. Yeah. Aga näe soov ei näe kõik viitud üle, kui ma põhine nüüd tüüd ja päta või. Just see, et nüüd teob ehm... Kõik aadat juhtunde, et on nüüd keere, et pikam. Stoop, like, if you're that new friend, new friend. But you don't when you go to the train. You don't do the appointment. You sit there when the hotel went from and I had a great time. So I had a positive story to them. So I was like, yeah, that's quite good actually. And that was a great memory of ours. And the other town, oh my goodness. She knew she did a competitive, by the way. Yeah. Lots of games, a team. Very competitive. When? I got up. I can't. Deal with that. Oh, and then that uh, Ethan, my son, a double of duty, reminds me of duty. <laughs> Everything she does, very competitive. No, um, no, but oh, we had mainly like a uh, battle, even though I'm there, right? But I still got involved. I'm going to put counties close to the territory. Back in here, and we all and we don't want to get back to remember yeah. that. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, oh, really good. I think that you deny. And then we used to watch gladiators as well. Oh, yeah, wow. And that. then we reenacted the oh, you used to was it Jet? You used to be, I can't remember. No, I'm trying to do it with the lightning. I was, I was lightning. Where? Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I can't remember. How many, um, I can't remember who been there, but they're not done with them. Yeah, but I, c- I can't remember who. But I remember the main. New Light, Wolf. Yeah, he was my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> but go on here. Yeah. Oh, the main right there. And then uh, we used to just go biking. What else? Like, we used to have Oh, we need to do trip to the park. Yeah, actually, yeah. And then thinking like of all these memories, I just, I, I like, I treated you as a sis- like sister, like a nor- like uh, a normal s- sister. Yeah, and, and I, I like treated. see see you, you, your deafness doesn't come into it. I I don't think for me I don't obviously you are deaf, but I don't think you are deaf because I've grown up with it. So for me, it's normal. Does that, that does that make sense? That totally make sense. We couldn't hear back for that. That a long, long time that I was born up to now. The yeah. But then, then again, I can't deal with them. Not being there because of my personality. I'm who I am. Who I am. So I have a question for, for you. Okay. If if you had to pick, would you? Want to be a like, hearing? No. Because, well, over the, yeah, I would like to be hearing, yeah. But if they ask me, would you like to be hearing? If I hearing now, they know I'm happy with my program plan. I'm happy. I've done everything. I feel. <gasps> I'm proud of who I am. She'll like the wire. Yep. Yeah. No. Do th- that from my point. She'll like the wire. She'll like the wire. I want to prove I won our award. So yeah, I've done all that. And I'm proud of myself being there. I'm proud of myself being there. So, um. Because Shell... Wait, 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 go back to the question about me being here. No, I definitely don't know. Right. Because you've got to... Like, I don't like talking about regret, what I, and why. I like to move to the future. I'm there. That, that, I cope with that. Moving to the future. That, the answer. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. I, I totally agree with that. Because... Cochrane and Plan, I'm, I'm, I'm too happy I've made that to Titan. Because I, I couldn't, if you asked me being with hearing aid, I couldn't go back to hearing aid. So, with Cochrane and Plan, I sort of feel much better. Just sort of like changed my life. 
because that was a massive thing for you, like having like an, an operation like on your head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was it three years ago? Something like that. Mm-hmm. Time to try then, because then I remember I was in hospital lying on the bed and you came. Yeah, um, I, I've even got a picture of you. Oh, have you? Yeah, on the, on the I've bed. I've seen that picture. Really? Oh. All right, I'll, I'll send you. Okay, with that one advantage. Yeah. Wow. I was thinking to myself the other day, I don't have pictures of me in the hospital because a lot of people take pictures. All right. Okay. And I'm thinking, I never take any. I, I've got one but of you. I need one. Mm, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> damn, yeah. Um. When you work or when you go out places and you meet a deaf person, are you aware? Or do you feel there's a difference having a deaf sister than going out and seeing a deaf person? If that makes sense? Uh, For me, whenever I meet a deaf person out, if I'm working or like uh, uh, whenever I did a meet up group there was a couple of deaf people there and f- for me I think I try harder than most because I have a deaf sister so I make sure that they're included I, I talk to them if they miss anything that I feel is important, that like a, a, a repeat it. So I'm thinking of, I'm doing a definite training and I will be going around businesses and help them out how to be aware. Do you need, I want you to tell them how the need and all that will benefit their business, how important it is. For example, a, a lot of people, they either like they talk too fast or whenever they're talking to someone else they, they look away cover their mouth or yeah or they cover their mouth but for for deaf people that's one of their modes of communication like looking at someone's lips and lip reading do you put me thinking put in that uh, people but they've been they deaf people, aren't they? Yeah, and, and also if there is like a, a deaf person, like, for example, if they're having like a meeting, make sure it's like, and it's, a, it's in a round table. Well, that's the number one round table. Because we're in a round table, we start up in a better angle. Yeah. And it's a weird table. And you go, you're actually having like... Down for down. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, round table. Good tap. Do you remember everything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought we could play a wee game just to which one break the ice, make it fun. Do you remember the game we played? Can you think what game I'm going to be talking about? The lip reading game. Yes. What did memory of that? For me, I, th- I think it was eye-opening because I think it's, it's a really difficult thing to do. Definitely. Do you think looking at me? Or do you think you've thought of them? But w- when, when, when we were younger, I think I was I was pretty good at it. But because we don't live together, do you find it quite... I think it could be quite difficult now. And I think because we're wearing masks, I think it's probably when I'm not going to slip. Yeah. But let the be... Let's see how we get on at this challenge. I'm, I'm up for it. Great. So who's going first? Who's going to guess what the person's doing? Me or you? I'll guess. You okay. guess. Right, okay. So because we're in a podcast, I, I'm not going to lose my voice. I'm just going to mouth the word. I do guess what I'm doing. But no speak through the microphone. What do you think I'm saying? Okay. I think we should have 
how many try because we go on forever. So how many do you think we do three or five? Five. Compared to two to get it. <laughs> three not up. Right, let's go. And I'm going to think of a really tricky. Do you be telling each other? Uh, or would you... Okay. Guess. Right. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Super Mario game. Super Mario game. Well done. That is completely random. And you got it. Wow, amazing, Jerry. No, I'm feeling, oh my goodness, I'm going right, to compete okay. with that. Uh, <laughs> if I get it wrong, oop. let's make it quite difficult. But did I move my mouth very well? Yeah. So don't cheat by not moving like that. Because mm-hmm. sometimes you'll go. Right, um, oh, okay. What? Right, okay. Right. Rather grim. Yep. Yay! That was quite a difficult one. Quick one more. We know one but, more but two syllables. No, it's three, three oh. syllables. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that one I am going to think. Right, okay. and, and also to to make it harder, uh, sit back. Australia. They have done. Right, so I will go with. Microphone. Correct. Do let me get a bit more harder and do a dentin. <gasps> oh! Right, oh, right. I love that meeting. Right. I know. I'm talking about right. Especially. And I like meeting me like. Right. I know, and especially when they speak really fast as well. And then, for example, there's like five people. You're actually having to concentrate, like, I'm looking at... I'm yeah. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't know where it came from, it's hard. But yeah. And I'm going to show an example how it worked, so, but I'm going to do a thinking to that D. Oh, okay. I'm going to Glasgow on Sunday. Yay! I thought that was about to be easy. <laughs> but I wanted to start. So right. it's done. Okay. Right. Thank you for inviting me to your podcast. That came too easy, but I did that. Yeah. What about we go a bit faster? Right, okay. Okay. So. Going to be sunny tomorrow. Can you hear me through the microphone? Yeah. Did not told me that. No, that's why. That's why I said to lean back to make it harder. I forgot. They deaf don't help. You need to remind me. Okay. Right, that again. Okay, I, I just. Uh, Something that I'm going to get a Christmas card. Nope. Okay. I can't wait for Christmas. I cannot wait for my Christmas dinner. Yay! And also, like, f- for me, sometimes you do miss out a few words. So you have to kind of. I'll do that, mate. I cannot wait for Christmas. I cannot wait for my Christmas dinner. No, no. Don't do that, Mister. No, no. I'm no, 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 it was me. I, I missed a few words out. Oh, did you? Because I, I knew you were talking about Christmas and right, Christmas or Christmas card. So I had to try and put it in my head, like create a sentence. I'm glad to mention that. I'll be honest, but I think when I'm in a meeting, I don't have to pick up the field. I start off focused on the main day. So if something we're talking about, right, something's talking about, right, we're going to be, I keep, uh, deep in there, I like doing it with my hand, um, hopefully we can cut that out, uh, being there, I'm trying to think of an example, when I used to work in the council, and they say, right, right, we're going to be doing graphic design training, and we're going to be doing, like, for example, Adobe software, then different, Software. 
Da habe ich die nicht zu wenig, ich weiß nicht was, was dann aber her da. Da habe ich die auch oben, weil ich die bei dir dann war, dann mein Bar ist da auch gehoben. Und dann kann ich mit mit der Mieter am Kanal rein, der Abtrag mit der. Ja, so you have to work hard da. Ja, du, da auch, wir haben zum Beispiel mehr gehoben, und der Abtrag mit der. Aber ich habe einen Rotteker, wenn ich bin. There wasn't one available, ever. I know it's bad, but what can I do? You did your best. I did my best. So yeah, that like reading game. I want you to go a bit faster. I might do what I can do. Because I think I haven't been that reading much because of my mind. Yeah. I've been actually been reading my ears more, but... Cochrane plant. I thought of uh, uh, which one? I thought of um, learn the cooking plant to Latin. If I had hearing when I man, I would have not get it at all. So I do see a little bit different, then I'd probably be a good thing for me to actually learn to Latin rather than that way. Yeah. But so, I'm getting tired now and it's quite dusty, especially when people having conversation. I don't follow that. Because having like a mask on and then trying to listen to what a person is saying for a hearing person, it's quite difficult because it's, it's muffled. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, I imagine that for like a deaf person, it would make it ten times more difficult. <laughs> I don't like telling people I don't understand it. The muffling. I don't understand it. I don't say that. I just say I'm there. I'm not doing it then. I about uh, not I the I'm there, but the person to be speaking with cleaning, but I don't have the heart to tell them the matter. Or for example, uh, we were down to we went to we went down to Centre Parks in down south in mm. July and they were really good. Oh, fantastic. Because whenever you said that you were deaf, they actually took down their mask. And I think they did have their funeral training. I, I think they the did as well. Because most of, like, I think all of them actually left, like, lifted down their mask because they had, like, protective screens up anyway. And you know as well, they, um probably had their funeral training and now you can see that example how much help them to part and a lot of dead people go there and amazing because we've been included. Yeah. We did the that blind wire down the lake over the lake. How fun with that? Yeah, that was amazing. We like to do challenges, don't we? Yeah. Who do you think is more? I can't tell you what the problem is. You can tell for me. Adrenaline. Adrenaline junkie. That was. Who'd know that? Me or you? It's difficult. Would you go uh, bungee jumping? What kind of bungee jumping? Uh, if it's a bungee jumping very, 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 very high. No. Would you? Yes. Without the answer. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but I think it just depends on what it is. Uh, I think I'm more into jumping. I think I'm more into I think, adventure. Yeah, yeah, you're more adventurous. I'm adventurous. Yeah. Yeah, don't let that be in Karen. Let's really do it, but better. So, let's go. Okay. Gonna make it really hard, doesn't it? (laughs) (laughs) Competitive again. I read Buddy Beam. My dog. Yep. You just trying something really random with nothing about me. Right, okay. Something didn't have to be like can I give you one into tempo? Yeah. Oh that was so I'll do it. Next see. So, Mr. Bean went to the shop. 
and he was being silly. And he bought some r- random fish. Random wrong. The lake can't that one. Right, okay. That's a difficult one. Wow. Right, okay. Because it's completely random. Completely random. So here we go again. All right, rubber. Yeah, rubber fish. Rubber fish. But that doesn't make things but I'm talking about. Right, right, yeah. That doesn't make it rubber. But I think again, I'm trying to make it too hard. So that's an example I was talking about. That, that was a difficult one. But like I said, it's random. So we, I like these people are random, like Tom. Yeah. So one more work we done, and then we move on to the question. Okay. Mary Poppy had a lamb and it was green. Correct. Yay! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so that's an example. We kind of did that when we were growing up. And uh, now we can see how talented it can be for me. But, okay, the thing is, imagine if like, you weren't deaf aware and uh, you asked someone to, to lip read. I don't think they could do that. What do you mean? No, for example, if someone didn't have any experience of, of deafness and then you, you, you ask them to lip read, I, d- I no, don't... No, because I was at a event on Saturday. Um, they were amazed how, because how many were they? Was it about 15? Something like that, but they were amazed how I can... Understand everybody individually, like different lip movement and different acting. But I like we done that with three, what maybe, I don't know. It's a goal that you learn. Yeah. But there are some people that I don't want to turn to talk. Um, and, uh, and also, like, I, 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 would, I would like to say, Whenever you were like uh, three or four, mum, not like she encouraged you to talk, and then you you never learned sign language until you were sixteen. Is it sixteen? Something like that. Which I think is like mind blowing, because in my experience, like most deaf people learn sign language first. Like, profoundly deaf. Is that true? I think it's Matt. Matt, yeah, but at over to at that time, when a mum told I, they would never talk. There are probably some people that after listening to them from BSL to that probably too. Yeah, but I think no, the bit different. I think he. Uh, the toy. Bo. Dynamic. B. I think everybody's different, depending on the. You don't know. Like my own, modular, severe, profound. I would do most profound people do the same thing, because it's hard. You know, yeah, that's not true. But like I said, I grew up, and then I learned dynamics when I was 13. But I found dynamics hard, because I'm more BSL, which is British dynamics. And I'm more SSE, which is spoken. I know the word English. Spoken, done English, something like that. But meaning that I have time the whole English. I had to act with it there. When we be there, the matter. Yeah. I need to pay it, but I think that's quite hard. But I make my effort to do the dynamic. Do anybody that? I have a question. Ooh. I'm glad you asked me a question. Do you can see me? My answer. My honest answer. Okay. So, if you met another deaf person, in Glasgow, at one of your your meetings, 
Would you sign or talk? Depend on the person communicating. So how would you greet them? I would be... I've never came across that before. In fact, when I went to Birmingham and I did that um, training, most of the time I kind of walked how they communicated before I went to them. But if it's somebody that I never saw came to me, I would do both. I would say hi and then see how they reply. It'd be down back, a thing back, or be both. At both, but then again, we being everywhere, I do both, even though what the me- what they communicate me after that, because they get other people there too, and right, I don't yeah. like to include any of them. Do I do both? Do I speak for people who speak? I think for people who think. You know, I'm always like that. If something says to me what they're saying, I always like to tell that person, make sure they include So, yeah, because I've done that the whole life with family. I include everybody who stay more because I always do this to you guys. What are you doing? And then we'll tell them what to never do. Two things. Never mind. And the other one? Doesn't matter. Right. And one more. It's something that people do and then they say, I will tell you later. Oh. No, that's that's one of your pet hates. Like, what, what is understandable? I'm I didn't know that. And then sometimes I'm like, I don't know that. And then you forgot because you did you tell me later. Yeah. And then when you say never mind, even someone said that to me. You, you. I'm tired. I'm crying. Yeah. You, I want to be involved. Again. And then when people talk, don't want me to let me. They're going. I thought of private competition. Again, w- w- I think I think you know this, but uh, when we knew, when we were younger, uh, I think teenagers, we went round to a family's house. Who like, uh, I think it was family? Yeah, a family house. And then uh, we, we were having this... Did they? I thought you'd done Barmer's house. All right. So I had to double check Barmer's house. Mm-hmm. Family house. Mm-hmm. Sorry. And then uh, we were having like a, like a conversation, and then uh, you said what? So uh, like I, 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 I repeated that because like I, I always do that. It's like it's for me second nature. And then I think it, but it was uh, five minutes on the conversation went back to the same part, and then they, they repeated it. Yeah. And then you 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 said what again? And then for me, I said, never mind. But for, and then you went off the handle. But, oop. <laughs> so, I, I don't understand why, why, you, why you went off the handle because I said, never mind. But for me, you're, you already knew the information. So I didn't feel the need to repeat it. But I should have said, or. Oh, you should have repeated it. Could you listen? They're repeating it. You think repeating what yeah, you need yeah, to repeat? Uh, yeah. You yeah. listen, try. You need to repeat it, try. Yeah. Listen, try. Do it, try. Don't put that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So that I'm hoping that we help a lot of people because there's a lot of family. My heavy hearing brother. Just all day, you know. Yeah, and, and that's one of the examples where, even though I'm I'm deaf aware, I I, I made a, a like a silly mistake. Yeah. Everybody make me day. I make my day sometimes too. It's, it's human nature. Yeah. I'll be honest, my son asked me what you're doing and I'm going, I saw you later. But that's not because the day, that's because it's something you still be listening to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's hard. I know it's hard, but yeah. What was the hardest part for you as a teenager when I was there? Like when, when you went to high school first, and then when I came in first year, we were both together. How did you feel? Can you remember? When we went to high school? When you told me, did you worry about me in high school? Or did you kind of like, oh, she fine? What would you thought, knowing the little sister death when she's coming into high school? How did you find high school? 
For me, high school was difficult. Really? We never actually read a book about high school. It would be interesting to see what to say. Because f- there's like there's those three groups. One is a popular crowd. The other one was the like unpopular one, and the other one was like the. At, 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 like, for example, then between us, like the, the middle, the middle one, and then for me, I think I was the middle one. But for you, I'm popular. You were popular. I'm popular. No, I think you were popular. I think I'm a dumb popular. You tell me. I'm, I'm a judge to know why she's damn popular. You tell me. Because did you not do like all the shows, like the the school shows and the Coral Shield and? But who would that popular to teacher or pupil? Right, teachers, teachers. But I wasn't popular with the student. I would act the very lonely. Probably why I did all that too. I didn't enjoy it, to be honest. But for me, I, 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 f- I was happy that you were there. Because I knew that if you, did, if you had any problems, then I, I, was, I was there. I hated her too. I didn't really blame myself, I hated her. My anxiety when you wake up in the morning, going to school, got there and angry, ma. I didn't always have teaching a deaf in class. I worry about it and I probably caused me too much anxiety. I just hated them. Everybody seems to think I love her, but I didn't. I love primary school, but high school. It was hard work. Yeah. Waking up, follow everything, understand everything. Like what was most interesting for me, I'll be honest, my this time. And uh, like the geography, history, modern study. It's so much to learn. And also, like, it was like more uh, English heavy as well. Like, like lots of like the, the, voc- the vocabulary. It was like learning different words. And, and, and then understanding it. I need to come home and do it. Because I, I've got another memory. I remember in, uh, I think you were doing, sta- uh, I can't remember, like, but re- or maybe standard grades. I think I know that one. Where you were having problems with biology. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then I, I, like, I, 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 t- I taught you, I, like, I, 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 like, I, ch- I tutored you on let, biology. Let's be honest with them. Even T, when I had my own two homework, T had at home. Oh, all right, yeah. We dropped. Yeah, we did, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm. He's my only thing to hate his dad. I'm Robbie. For, and, I'm, and I was doing that factor. Yeah. And everybody was like, oh, Jerry. Oops. <laughs> I made was it too much. I was rubbish at art. And then you, you totally helped me. But they thought they knew that we did it. I pretended. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think we'll be allowed to do that now. But hey, don't get an event. I was a lot of vocabulary. I was just, I remember, I, just, I, don't know if, I thought no one there, even when I did stand degree. And I was dirty and dirty. I had a meltdown. Do you not remember? I'm the dining room. I cry. Yeah, yeah. I cry. And then mum got to worry. I, could, I cry. Do a bathy. I was do under pressure. And I think it's because of graphic communication. It was one of my main subjects I wanted to get when I went to, for me to go into college. I think it was just too much. The undergrad. It was just too much. Um, but I did it. But it was tough. It was tough. And that's why I left fifth year, because I wanted to move on. And As you said, you, you did it. I did it. You, you got a, a college certificate. I did. But it was tough. It was tough, but I enjoyed college much better than high school. So I did this before. Primary school, love it. High school, block out, college, love it. So... And now you've got your own podcast and your own business. Did you ever think I would do a podcast? Tell everyone what you did six months ago. I would, yeah, I remember that. Because you actually had anxiety saying, oh, I could never talk on camera. 
and, and now look at you. I can you remember what chain? How did I keep? What made me? Probably your mindset. But how did that change my mind there? Because I remember you posted a poll on... Uh, oh, do you have a better memory than me? <laughs> I, think it, I think it was a, like, face, like a Facebook poll saying... But I think before that, you, you voiced your anxiety, saying, oh, I'm not very sure if I can do this. And then she said, then you said, oh, I need your help on the Facebook poll. And then saying, should I speak on camera? Or should I... I remember now. Or, or, or should I post... Like written like words and pictures, and then most people, I think it was like the majority of people, take pictures and word. But I think that was because they felt it was comfortable for of, me. Yeah, and I thought, hmm, nah, I'm gonna try and do it. And I think what Jane did the coaches. And then I, I, I picked, like, even though I was like, like the the, the unpopular. Uh, the unpopular option I said you should speak on camera because I knew it was what you needed and, and to, my dream. Your, that was your dream and also to push yourself forward definitely well I'm glad and, and the support from the has been amazing and I'm glad I'm doing this I'm so happy and I can't wait to see what will happen next anything you want to say to me or the podcast or anything just th- th- thanks very much for uh, inviting me on, and uh, I'm I'm really proud that you are my sister, oh. and I'll, I'll 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 always be there for you. I'm really proud you're my sister too, and I will be there when you right back at you. No, um, yeah, we just support each other. Yeah, Jim. Dreams, I hope I can put goals. Go. Yeah, hopefully I'll make you. I, I, what do I? Do you inspire by me? Yeah, yeah. I, I, you do inspire me like every day because of you. You don't let your disability hold you back. No. You just push forward. What do you think, Mum? Think about it. I, I, I think Mum's quite proud now. Um, do you know that? Because I, I I don't know if people know this, but uh, was it like a few years ago you, you were down in a spiral? Yes. Like really, really negative. Yeah, very negative. All the time. And n- now look at you. I know. I got help. I've asked for help. I think it was tough for me because I wasn't happy with my job. I, even my death, I had so many appointments, just so much. And I think when my daughter was born, I think that was when I integrated myself. Yeah. I really, really struggled because I had no goal, no dream. I was just a dark grey crow. And then... What was the turning point for you? The turning point for me when I was away a caravan with my mum and dad in the car. I cried the whole time. I was just so mad about I wanted to be the mum. I wanted to be for my children. It was just too much. I felt I to I I held them for too long. So I decided to go and ask for help, and from there, I started to like listen to myself more and focus on myself more. I think what I was really wrong. I took my time. I've always just done things, you know that, but I've taken my time. I'm actually the opposite now. My heart's going to be dying. Getting all ready, I'm like, oh, I'm tired. Oh, I know, yeah. I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of time. No, I just think I feel like self care is important. Don't burn it all about it. Just focus on you, focus on your family, and ask for help. Anytime I need help, I ask for help. 
Because I could have been there. I do that could go on a roller coaster, but when I'm in a bad state in my life, I have to help the way and get the poor. But I feel because I've done that amazing group, two group, they make me feel included. And when I feel included, I don't go downhill, I go uphill. So I think it's just the other thing people out there making sure everybody. As in involved. Involved. And the, that's why I'm thinking the captains and accessibility, so we can be involved too. You know, tell people how much I love business, how things work. Tell them. Like, I'm a business. I'm all about business, I know. Yeah, you, you're, you're, like a, you're a business woman. You want uh, great accessibility f- from from businesses. Uh, I think it was, was it Business Gateway, where, I can't remember what it was, but you, you wanted to like, ap- like apply for, for something, but you, you couldn't because I think it was, rather than like a, an email that I would send, I think, where the group phone you? They never reply. Oh, they never replied, all right, okay. They mean communicating, I'm sorry, but I think they were back Yeah, yeah. Uh, they had a phone number and back and blue, and then they didn't have email. So I thought, I'm not going to phone them. So I went down to the bed when they contact them. Very small, the email. So I emailed them, but I know it's a longer process. I even did an email to the head office, but nothing. So, um, but if it's back and blue, they want me to phone them. I think they get them quicker and done. But the thing is, in this day and age they should have like greater access, like accessibility yeah. they have webinars and courses they have those things they have captain because I've done one and they told me to go uh, day class where they would an interpreter but I really wanted to stay home and do captain that would the lockdown as well, that was quite hard, I would have a computer and she would way over here, I would way over here. But mentally I wasn't enjoying it. Everybody was at home sitting in the computer having a cup of tea, Bill. I was like, I'm anxious, I'm out there. So that didn't be happening. Because why did they not have an temperature on Doom when I was in Doom? I don't get it. They, they haven't they haven't done this. They're not very accessible at all and I don't think they are deaf aware. Because that way when I was eighteen and dad came. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I was just, it wasn't right from when I was 18, it still hasn't changed. No. So I'd like to do a business gateway. If you want to contact me, I'm happy to help you out. Yeah, because, like, as I said, in this day, as I said, in this day and age, your contact details should be a phone, an email address, or even, like, social media. Or even... Uh, what they started to do is take phone number. Yeah. Like the bank have all done. Uh, they've done a phone, money call, but they did take DNA, do the three way, which is fine. And then they've got contact gotten, which they can phone through interpreter. So they've got that as well. They've got um, email. They should have an accessibility email. Do you know that email for people who are there? Or anybody with accessibility? So, when someone sends in that email, they know it's priority. Because I know when they send contact with inquiries, it could be raw. Yeah. But if I had a special email for that reason, that would be amazing. There was a test of balance, not different communi- communication methods. That's what they need. I, I totally agree That's with why you. I'm, I'm going to be adding all this to my website, creating death awareness. There's going to be more, so many services from me. So if anybody would like to contact me to learn more about death awareness, or any training, please contact me. I'll get in touch with you. And also, I know that you're like a like a deaf advocate, but whenever you're doing accessibility for businesses, are you doing it for like any disability, or is it or is it just for deafness? Well, because I'm. It's been been deaf. I don't want to do too much for other disability. I've not. It's been done. But if I have other people with different disabilities, I would be happy for them to come in with me, collaborate, and be the poor each other. Because I've followed some people who have 
that's a cool thing to And I've learned to mark the name by adding all to it. But it's a practice to grab on social media. I've started to do that and I think it. Because that why am I reading your winner? After people following other people to win it. Yeah. So I've been following that to tell people it's not that hard to follow and take the benefit. If I'm making to everybody, it gets them what they get from me. They do to them. That's true. I think we've covered a lot, haven't we? Yeah, I think we and have, And then people yeah. can see how we live the lives, how different we are. We are different, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah. It's very different, we Mm. Yeah, right, so. Now, about, do you want me to go far? Confident. Strong. Yeah. Motivated. Those are good ones. I've got those three in my head every day. I've just done this. Read them in my three words. And I have them. Confident, strong, motivated. And then I like my favourite quote, it's something like be in it, be you, be who you are, something like that. It's on my Facebook, eh, Instagram, that's my favourite quote. Okay. Do you right. read three words? Unique. That's true. Competitive. Yeah. Strong. Strong. Sorry, I copied that one. No, it's not fine. All women are strong. Yeah. So to finish this, so I am going to. Um, I hope you really enjoy listening to us. And if anybody out there, like you may have your brother or distracted, and you want to learn more about death from a hearing person that are deaf aware, I'll be more than happy for you to email if you want to contact Jerry. Because he is steaming me, he's willing to help so many people as well. And you can see from different, like we've been different perspectives. Yeah. So if you want to contact any of them, please send me an email. I will be down in the description box. And I really enjoyed that. So thank you, Dave, for taking your time and coming out to the podcast. No problem. And, and th- thanks for this great discussion. I, I really enjoyed it. Great. And I'm so glad because I thought it might be nervous. Could, you're not yeah. banning the camera? No, I'm, I'm a bit apprehensive. But anything for you. Thank you. Do you want to say bye? Bye. Bye.